So I came downstairs and my husband was like, wow, that after three years that this clothes get to enter my body. So, Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel to Fit Linda. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Linda Emmanuel and I'm on a journey to losing 120 pounds. From the title of this video, you already know what this video is all about, and that is how I was able to lose almost 36 pounds in two months. So if you want to know how I was able to achieve that, please stay tuned. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video and go follow me on my facebook page to fit linda and on my instagram account linda underscore king 111 so without much further delay let's get into the video and a little disclaimer i am not a fitness expert and uh, what worked for me might not work for you so you just have to discover what works for you and stick with it i'm just going to talk about my own personal experience so i will advise uh, anyone that wants to start up a journey or is already on this journey to stick to what works for you on the 23rd of march i decided to start up my weight loss journey so i started by you know running few minutes in front of my house i did that i ran i i ran for 10 15 13 minutes three times every week from 23rd of march but then after a month i stopped after a month i stopped i just went back to my normal life and one day after two months yeah on on the 1st of June, yeah, on the 1st of June, I was trying to clear up my wardrobe. I stumbled upon a dress that my husband bought for me in the year 2017 when he was coming back from a trip. So he bought this very nice dress and it did not enter me. I said, okay, let me just try wearing this dress to see if it will enter me because since 2017 i've not worn the dress i decided to to put on the dress when i did the dress entered but i was still tight on my shoulders and in the hands but it entered and i was like what is really happening so i came downstairs and my husband was like wow that after three years that this clothes get to enter my body so he now said that in fact that i should go and wear myself when i weighed myself i discovered that uh, i was weighing i think 120.4 or 120.1 i don't know but it was 120 point something that was what i was weighing and so that means i lost about three point something kg i looked at myself in the mirror with the dress on i felt motivated to start on my journey again but this time differently so i sat back and i started recollecting what went wrong what made me to to stop exercising to stop my journey after being consistent for a month so i discovered that i i rushed into it without making the necessary uh, preparation which is to prepare myself mentally first so you know this journey uh you need to prepare yourself mentally because there are some days that you will put in all effort you will put in everything you've got hoping to achieve a good amount of result but then you you feel discouraged when you weigh in yourself and you see that you didn't lose weight or the the the, the amount of weight you lost was not what you were aiming for so it it really feels bad sometimes you gain back the weight sometimes you lose a little sometimes you don't lose at all so it kind of weighs people down so i decided to prepare myself to prepare myself mentally for this personally this is what i did i listed out all the things that my my being overweight has hindered me from doing and then i asked myself this question how will you feel if you spend another 
six years not doing all these things because you are overweight can you be able to cope another six years not doing these things and the answer was no so that was when i knew that i really really need to make a change so with that i got motivated So firstly, I committed my journey into God's hands, my weight loss journey into God's hands. Yeah, yeah, it might sound funny to people, but it is not. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. It is not. I committed my weight loss journey into God's hands. There is this place in the Bible that God used to talk to me when I asked him to come and strengthen me when I asked him to come and guide me and lead me through this journey that I'm about to start. So he took me to the book of uh, Philippians 4 verse 13 which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Whenever I am running and I feel tired and I, I feel like giving up, I just start to say it, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, I can do all things. And amazingly, I will start regaining back my strength and I will not feel like giving up. And then the second thing I did was to cut out some food. So I changed a whole lot of things that I'm eating. And I decided to, okay, start up my workout routine. And my workout routine was just to run in front of my house and do some squats and some sit-ups. Squats, 100 squats a day. 100 sit-ups and then later in the evening or in the morning depending on when I had time for my workout so sometimes I will I will do my squats and sit-ups in the morning later in the day I will just run in front of my house sometimes it will be in the morning I will run in the morning and then later in the evening I will do my squats and sit up this time I ran was 30 minutes from 30 minutes upwards that was it and I started seeing progress after two weeks I weighed myself and I discovered that I was 115 kg I said wow so I was so very happy
guys I just uh, finished my five kilometer run <sighs> it's not easy but um, with determination and your mindset to push forward you definitely can <sighs> all right so guys I did it man five kilometer run <sighs> so guys I just finished running my five kilometer oh that is it for today i've conquered for today yeah i'll do some jump ropes i'll do some squats i'll do some some sit-ups and then i will run five kilometers that was what i was doing for the exercise like i said earlier on i am not a, a, a fitness expert in fact i am still learning a lot of uh, workout routine and all that so that is it for today's video please if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment and share to your friends and family and if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please click on the red button subscribe right now click on the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video and please also go follow me on my facebook page to fit linda and on my instagram account linda underscore king 111 i'll be putting the links in the description box below so please go follow me like share subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye